In this video, we will discuss how to add new notes. First, we'll click on the Note top tab on the respective patient. Then we'll click on the little folder button to open up the note list. Then we'll click on the new note. Notice that only that add evaluation note is available because the evaluation starts each case. You'll notice that the other notes are grayed out. Next, I click on Add Evaluation Notes to start the note. It will then begin loading the template, and the pressing screen will go away in about six seconds. Once the loading screen goes away, you will be able to edit your notes. We have our note template loaded, and you'll notice that it has five tabs, Assessment, Functional Deficits, Underline Impairments, Treatment Plan, and Billing. In the assessment tab, you can document the following. Date of the evaluation, time in and out if it's necessary. You can click the checkbox and edit those. The onset date or the date of the first symptom. Then we have the medical diagnosis, which are the diagnosis code. You can click add new diagnosis and the box will come up. You can search by the code or the keyword. For example, I will put in gate and click search. Notice that there's a star to the right of every code, and if I click it, it will mark it as my favorite, which can then be found find, found in search favorites. Then to add the code, I simply select which ones I need and click on add to medical diagnosis and or add to treatment diagnosis. As soon as I close the box, we will see that the codes are in their respective sections. Reason for referral is why the patient is in therapy. For example, we can say that the patient requires skill to decrease in whatever it is. Then we have the PMH and PSH, which are the post past medical and past surgical history. You can type them in, and if you need to add anything into the database, simply click on the Add button to the right. We can type in cardiac insufficiency, anxiety, and stuff like that. Then we have the subjective complaint box, which is literally what the patient says during the eval. So, for example, we can say, I feel weak today. Then we have history of present complaint, is if the patient was treated before for a similar diagnosis or problems. Precautions field is pretty self-explanatory, is what we have to watch out for. For example, we can put fault safety, etc. Then we have vital box, blood pressure, heart rate. Then we have height and weight, height and inches. So for example, if the patient is five foot six, and the patient weighs about 160 pounds, we will see that the body mass indicator automatically calculates itself. Then we have social history box. It can be used as free text, or you can click on the builder button to formulate the sentence. For example, age, the patient's right, left-handed, he lives in a private home, alone, with steps, and the patient is a drinker. Then we'll click OK, and we see our sentence right here. We can also add the sentence and add anything manually. The ME field is you can click on and off on the appropriate one. So, for example, clock cane, bone walker cane. You can also unclick them. The patient goals is what the patient wants to achieve. For example, again, in quotes, we can say 
I want to be able to get just myself. Medications can be selected by clicking on the Add New Medication box, finding the correct medication, and putting in the dosage, and clicking Select. So for example, let's come in here, select, and you will see that it appears. Instead, you can also say, see the medical chart. Like so, this way you can just upload the medical list to the documents without needing to manually type it in. Notice on the bottom right, there's a date and the timestamp of the autosave. This lets you know that the note is being automatically saved. So just in case of outage of a computer or in case of computer crashes, the note will still be saved. It's a good idea to make sure that the time is within a minute of the current time and this way the system will be in sync. From here, we can click Next button to get to the next tab, Functional Deficits. Here we see different categories to document on. For example, if I click on the Category, it will expand my options. Here I can simply click on the option I want to document on and it will check it off. Notice that once I click on it, the prior and the current level will be editable and I can update it. So prior level will be the independence and now the patient really needs moderate assistance. I can also add a narrative to each one by clicking on the green plus button. This way, you can always document on the top of the drop down. For example, patient has increased mobility in the morning. Next, I can expand other categories, for example, transfers and have the similar concept with the options. The last field is the other areas not addressed box, so you can document anything else here. You can also expand the box however is needed by dragging it up and down. From here, we can again click on the next button and get to the next tab, which is underline impairments. Here we have other categories with a similar concept as the other tab. Simply click on the category you want to document on and it will expand. Under that, we have the edema and the pain location. For example, you can click Add New Record and put in the location, then select the address and with the movement levels, the quality of the pain, and the common if necessary. So, for example, let's say shoulder at rest. The pain is at this core with movement this much, what type of quality, and any comment necessary. Then we have objective findings, where you can put in range of motion and manual muscle test. Simply click on the body part, and the system will generate a grid. From here, we can put in the values as needed. Once you are done, we can actually put in the values, let's say 45, 10, et cetera, et cetera. Once you are done, you can fill the remaining out automatically by clicking on the magic wand over here. Select the ones you want and click Fill. There we go. Under this, we have our objective and special test. You can add them by clicking on Select Test button 
and choosing the appropriate one. We have many tests to choose from. You can either scroll or search. For example, we can choose Berg Balance Scale. Then open it, and the system will generate a score. Then we have a place to answer the interpretation of the test, for example, based on based on Berg balance. Core of dot dot dot. The patient is. Then we have objective comments, which is part of the SOAP note. Patient has has difficulty with whatever it is. Only bank. You click on the goal you want, choose which term, either short or long, and click on select. For example, we will choose short and long term goal and click select and click out of it. And we will notice that now the goal appears on the both sides. Last way to add goals, and the most exciting way, is to go to the functional deficit, our second tab. Click on the blue plus button and autofill a goal. For the short term, we will say modified independence, and for the long term, complete independence. Now we click fill. We go back to the treatment plan and it will be right here. We can change the weeks to sessions, for example, and put in the values. For instance, we'll put two weeks for each of our short term goals and 10 weeks for the long term goals. Then we see the components of evaluation, which allows you to input values to choose the appropriate complexity of the evaluation code. Once you fill in the values, a suggested code will appear. So let's go ahead and do it. We choose the factors, the values, and we will get our recommended treatments over here. So we need the evaluation, ultrasound, angle foot tapping, self-care, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then we have the prognosis. If you think the patient will do good, we put good. The treatments per week two and the treatment weeks is ten because this is the value of our long-term goal. Now the patient education, we could say that the patient was trained with HEP and transfer instructions. Our last tab is the billing tab. Here we can see the assessment box, the exercises performed, and the flow sheet. You can choose from a bank of exercises or activities simply by clicking on the drop down menu. Or you can put add exercise and add an exercise that's unique. Then we see the billing grid, which takes from all the recommended treatments on your treatment plan. Make sure you select all the treatments you need, otherwise you cannot bill for them. Here we can put in the minutes, and because this is a Medicare Part B case, the units will automatically generate. So for example, I will put 20 here and 20 minutes here. Notice that the please observe eight minute rule, revise treatment minutes message comes up. And if I change these minutes to 25, the error will go away. Next, you can actually put it in the comments to justify the, min the units and the minutes for each code. This is a great place to document what you did for every CPT code. For example, you can say that the patient 
was provided with dot dot dot. Lastly, you must check document medical necessity exists. You confirm the statement. And now you can save the note as a draft by clicking on the Save as Draft and Close button. And then it will bring you back to the note list. From here, I can always come back and finish my note by clicking on the I symbol. The processing screen will go away soon. You can check that everything is done. You go to the billing tab, make sure all your minutes are filled in. And we can finalize that draft. Yes. Notice that missing data message comes up that assessment is required. We did not put our assessment, so now we'll go ahead and fix this issue. Okay. We will go back, go back to the billing tab. Press finalize. If all the required fields are completed, the system will allow you to save and bring you back to the note list. Notice that the icon is now green upon finalization. Here you can open it again, make changes, and then create an addendum. For instance, let's say that you realize that the onset date for the date of the first symptom is three days before the eval date. Now we will go back to the billing and create this addendum. Once completed, it will show the addendum note intended along with the change date and time. From here, we can print it as PDF, like so, and press OK. Our eval note will download. We can open it and view it. This is how it looks. Or we can choose to e-fax and send it to the referring provider. We select the document type. Then we select the physician, add the cover letter, and click Send Fax. From here, we can also add new note types by clicking on the new note again. And in the next video, we will go over other types of notes.